the modern living room setup has become a little complicated with so many remotes to control our different devices. So let's simplify that by learning how to make our Apple TV remote control both an AV receiver and TV using CEC control. We're gonna go from this to this in a few easy steps. So what is CEC control? It stands for Consumer Electronics Control, and it's a feature of HDMI designed to control your HDMI connected devices with a single remote control. So what we need to do is make sure CEC is enabled on all our devices. First off, we'll start with the TV. These are the steps for a Sony TV, so if you're using a different brand, these steps may vary slightly. So in the TV menu system, we'll go to settings, and what we want to do is make sure we're on HDMI CEC. Now the only problem with this is each brand will have their own name for this. Sony calls it BraviaSync, but Samsung calls it AnyNet Plus, and LG calls it SimpLink. So we'll include a link in a pinned comment with a list of most brands and their name for CEC. So now go to external inputs and on our Sony TV, we'll go to Bravia Sync settings and make sure device auto power off is enabled. Also make sure that TV auto power on is enabled and you may have a third option that needs to be enabled depending on what your setup is. But for our setup with an AV receiver, this one is not required. Next, make sure eARC is enabled if your TV has it and that your HDMI cable is connected using the eARC enabled port. eARC also sends audio from your TV streaming apps to your soundbar or to your speakers connected to your AV receiver. So here's how to find it on a recent Sony TV. It's under external inputs. HDMI signal format and on this TV HDMI 3 is the eARC port and you see here that standard format is checked. You can choose whichever format you want here but we'll leave it on standard format for our purposes. So knowing that HDMI 3 is our eARC port we just need to make sure that our HDMI cable is plugged into this port and that it's going to the eARC port on our receiver as well. Next, on your Apple TV, go to Settings, go to Remotes and Devices, and make sure that Control TVs and Receivers is on, and also make sure that Volume Control is set to Auto. And so lastly, you'll need to find the settings for your AV receiver. Our Anthem has a web interface, but check out the instructions for your own AV receiver on this. The setting you're looking for is CEC settings or whatever your brand calls CEC. Again, refer to the pinned comment below for a list of the different names for this. And you want to have CEC control turned on and CEC power off control needs to be enabled as well. So let's try it out and see how it all works. So when we hit the power button on our Apple TV remote, you now see that the TV turns off as well as the Apple TV and the receiver. If you press the power button again on your Apple TV remote, the TV turns back on as does the Apple TV and the receiver. It also allows you to use your Apple TV remote to control the volume of your AV receiver. If this video helped you out, give it a like, and for more tech tips and tricks like this, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Radial Tech.